All right, everybody. Hello again. So, um, I got more mail. <laughs> um, I was not expecting to get more, but I did. So, there'll be a second video. now. I got one package from New Zealand. New Zealand? Yeah, New Zealand. Uh, the other package from here in the States. Um, there's a reason I'm using this play mat now. So, let's go ahead, open up the New Zealand one first. Let's let this one be a little bit of a suspense, will we? Okay, get rid of that. It's always interesting to me to see how the different artists package the artist proofs. It's always unique. <laughs> Drop scissors here. Drop scissors. Cardboard is one way to definitely protect them. Now, what am I expecting in this one? There's two in this one. One of them I've seen. One of them has been flying around online because I shared it. The other one I have not seen and I wanted it to be a surprise. So, what set's coming up now? All right, guys, we got Everfest coming up. So when I saw this card first spoiled, hilarious, loved the card. And so I got to hold the artist to get the artist proofs of the card. And in keeping with Everfest, ragamuffin hats. So they are both going to be sketched, I believe. Okay, I have not seen that one yet. So go ahead. Slide this over here to look at the first of the ragamuffin hat that everybody has seen, or other some people have seen. Number one of forty-five. I just stoic. I think is the right word. He's just got that thousand-yard stare, smoking on the pipe. He's like, yeah, nobody's gonna mess with me. Super cool. And then, this one was actually a request from my LGS store owner. He loves Brutes, alright? Brute is his thing. Reinar, KO, huge into it. So he was like, hey, I want to get a Brute wearing that. <laughs> and... Uh, you guys haven't seen it yet, but it's a brute <laughs> wearing the hat. <laughs> oh, just got that smirk on like, yeah, nobody can touch me. That thing is cool looking. <laughs> it's got the tooth necklace, uh, the beads and the braids and the hair. It's got the ears. That's amazing. <laughs> oh, Joseph, you outdid yourself. That's great. He's going to be so thrilled. Oh, I kind of wish I was keeping that for myself now. <laughs> but I got this one. I got that one. With the pipe. That was just amazing. All right. <laughs> oh, and it's Everfest, right? I want to know. So Ragamuffin Hat, right? Look at the background here. That's Everfest. So this, I believe, is the first card that's given us a hint of what was at Everfest. Besides a dude smoking a pipe with a cool hat on. <sighs> and what is that? Is that a... I think there's a lady playing a lute or something back in there. I don't know if it's going to focus in right. There we go. Hey, you see her? What's she doing? What is she doing? He? She? I don't know. That's amazing. I love this card so much. 
It's just one of those things that you just can't help but smile when you look at, you know? The colors are just so vibrant. I love the green and the purple band around the hat with the green. Yeah. <laughs> so now, let's move on to this other package. And like I said, there's a reason why I'm using this playmat. I don't know if I, there was a worse way for me to open this. Get scissors. Get scissors. I'm horrible at opening mail. I'm sorry. Everybody out there is probably like, oh no, what is he doing? So, we saw the cardboard. Okay. We saw the cardboard from the last package, right? That. <laughs> and now we got this much. I mean, keeps it safe, right? Whatever works. taped it to the cardboard. So I'm not expecting that. Let's see if I can get this off here. So, I did not get the Tome of Harvest, okay? I kind of regret doing not doing that. I should have gotten the Tome of Harvest. I know I should have. I was more concerned, though, about getting Channel Thunderstep. Because this, at the time of buying, was the third of the channels, the last channel that I had not bought. And I wanted to have a complete set of channels. Let's go ahead. Bring it over here. Mr. Mark Poole. Your art's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Very unique signature. And for the back. That's a gorgeous recreation of the original. That's amazing. Yeah, so look. You got the original art for the card right in there. And even look at the stones. Then let's go ahead and flip her over. And there's the stones. You see the lightning. You see the clouds. That's amazing. Wow. I'm very happy to have this in the collection now. now actually let's talk about something okay let's talk about something along with artist proofs so the whole matt rogers and channel fireball teaming up for a grading company right so i talked to matt rogers and messaged him and he confirmed that they will be doing artist proofs cool makes sense matt rogers close with the lss right now CGC grading, I think it is, came out a couple of days ago and said that they're going to be doing grading for Flesh and Blood. 
immediately I messaged them and I was like, hey, I talked to you guys less than a month ago and you guys were saying you didn't grade flesh and blood at all. So that was weird. Um, but now you guys are, are you guys going to be doing artist proofs? Right off the bat, yeah, they are. Yes. CGC is a more recognizable grading company. So that hey, they have that going for them over the Matt Rogers Channel Fireball situation. How that's going to play out, I don't know. Um, I like the name recognition. Nobody else is grading these for artist proofs. There's nobody that grades these right now, except for now CGC and then Matt Rogers when they start. So if you want these graded, those are going to be your only two options. None of the other companies I've talked to are willing to do it. So that'll be interesting. But I don't know who I want to use yet. I think I'll split. Maybe send some to Matt Rogers, some to CGC. Just to have some exposure to both. See how I like it. See how which one feels better. I guess is the right call. I don't know. What do you guys think? Let me know your opinions, please. Because um, I honestly don't know. I've never really graded cards before. I sent in a fat Pikachu once that hasn't come back um, like four months ago. But other than that, I don't know much about grading cards. Um, I know I want... I don't care about the grades that come back from these. More so the fact that they authenticate the signatures and they're slabbed. So really, I don't care what the... It's a 9-5, a 9-8, I, I, I don't know any of that. Quad, triple nines, I don't know. Um, I want them encapsulated. I want them in a sealed ca the case that it comes with. And it verifies the signature is real. It verifies that these are authentic. I know they're authentic, but 20 years from now... I never made a ragamuffin! What are you talking about? Somebody might try saying that. And if it's sealed and graded, then there is no question about authenticity. And I like that. So... Let me know what you guys think, please. Um, please, give me advice. Let it bring it, all right? Um, help. <laughs> so, yeah. Thank you. Have a good one, guys.